Students expect uh, to learn the basic in the first year. They expect to learn the basics of welding and some fabrication techniques. We also look at new technology and recently we're bringing in uh, robotics, uh, submerged arc technology and we're hoping to uh, to take the program that much further into the future. Both locally and across the country, we see huge growth in the welding trade. Western Canada, Ontario, here locally, and yes, the Halifax uh, $25 billion contract. We, we have always had a good working relationship with Irving Shipbuilding. Whenever, every time I would see somebody welding, I see people working on larger stuff, bigger stuff. You know, working on the Confed Bridge, working, you know, over in Dubai, in Shanghai. There's welding everywhere around the world. And kind of what attracted me to it is that you can travel with it, but if you want to stay at home and work at DME and make brewery tanks and really cool stuff like that, you can still do it. If you want to learn and you want to do it hands-on, you don't want to be stuck in a class just reading a paper, reading it out of a book, come to a place like this. You're going to learn hands-on, you're going to see it firsthand, and it's just fun, too. Out in our main shop, we have at least 8,000 square feet for welding uh, training and fabrication, metal fabrication training. The main goal here is to get them through their academics, get them through their practical uh, obligations, but ultimately we want to see them get, gain uh, full-time employment. And we've been very successful at that. We feel that we run as good or better than uh, most programs uh, across the country. We, and we don't say that lightly. We know that we, uh, we're putting together and we've put together one of the best programs in the country.